What's up everyone, Tube Monkey here, and I am back with another video today. We're going to be talking about the Battlefield 1 reveal trailer that DICE has released just a few days ago, and I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on the upcoming Battlefield game in the franchise. We're going to talk a little bit about what we're going to expect, things we're looking forward to, and if we feel like this is the right move for the Battlefield franchise. So first off, we're going to talk about the reveal. I will tell you right now that I have watched this trailer at least 25 times. That is completely not lying. I have watched it. I have analyzed it. I have been jaw dropped and just kind of had to step back and realize that holy shit this is an amazing move for the franchise. Me personally I feel that Battlefield needs to take this step back to really isolate itself from the other shooters out there that are on the market. This is not to downplay any other shooter. I just feel like it is the proper move for DICE in this current state of all the other shooters out there in the genre. Most other shooters want to move into a more future setting, which this is not bad. I just feel that Battlefield has the right time and opportunity to take full advantage of doing a game like this in this setting on this scale. DICE is in a perfect position to really grab a new audience and to really satisfy the hardcore Battlefield fans and obviously they have listened to what the community has said and given them exactly what they wanted. The reception for this trailer has been absolutely phenomenal. The views, the likes, the comments, it's just across the board the fans are excited, they're happy, they're interested in what this is going to bring into the Battlefield franchise and me personally I'm very much looking forward to it. Hopefully I'll be able to get into the public beta and be able to test out some of this game before, before it is released in the next five to six months. Now this is a release date window, I don't know if this is concrete, but we do know that the game is going to be coming out in October. Now, in terms of what to expect out of this game, I'm going to expect the typical Battlefield feel with destruction, you know, your squad mechanics. The new things that are going to be interesting to this game is that it's going to focus a lot more on trench warfare and close combat. So we're going to be able to see more fast-paced battles but still on a large scale and also with the addition of big vehicular combat that we were used to in the previous Battlefield games. Now with this game we're gonna be going back to World War One so there's gonna be a whole new slew of vehicles and weapons that we're gonna have at our disposal like biplanes, of course tanks, light and heavy. You're gonna be able to ride horses which that is just that is awesome and I can't wait to try that out. I'm wondering how combat is actually going to be on those. Then you're going to have zeppelins and of course uh, probably like mortars and things like that. Which some stuff that we're used to. As far as how that's going to translate into these big maps and what maps we're going to be able, be able to play on, I'm sure it's going to be able to go across the different fronts of the war. However, with DICE stating that this is going to be an alternate style of World War One or Great War, I would expect to be surprised if I wouldn't be surprised if Dice brought a little bit of that flair and a little bit of some interesting concepts and weapons that we haven't used or seen before. Nothing that wouldn't stray from out of the actual weaponry too much from what the uh, World War One brought to the table but I'm sure they're gonna throw some surprises our way. Now as far as the setting World War One it's gonna be a good fresh take on the franchise like I said I'm, I love the modern warfare like the modern style warfare combat that we're used to now modern combat battlefield 3 and 4 which I think 3 was better it is gonna be refreshing to go back to World War style combat and still have that great battlefield feel to it hopefully that this game is done well in terms of bringing all those to the table I know we're on a really short time frame when the game is going to be released, but I'm pretty sure that they've been working on this game for a couple of years now, so I, I have a lot of optimism when it comes to this game. In terms of overall look, I love the look of what we've seen so far. Granted, a lot of it was cinematic and pre-rendered in the game. We did notice that it said in-game engine being shown at the bottom of the trailer, as you'll see in the video here and there. What that's going to constitute when the game actually fully releases, we're not sure. I'm sure as time goes on, Battlefield and DICE are going to release more information on the game so we'll be able to find out more as it goes along. 
Across the board, though, I do feel that the community is receiving this game very well, and it shows that DICE is actually going to listen to the fans and give them what they want. Hopefully this brings a good fresh take to the franchise and brings old and new players into the fray. Those are my thoughts on the Battlefield 1 trailer. Let me know what you think about the game and your impressions on the trailer in the comments below. And I will be posting up more videos as more information comes out on Battlefield 1 in the near future. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up, comment down below with your thoughts, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.